yank it back. <laughs> As you can see from my yard, I love my flowers. These are my calabrochias. I talk to them every day, too. <laughs> my husband takes all these planters and it adds miracle Grow to them. And then he fills the planters for me and then I plant them myself because I love it. <laughs> I love it. I was out here weeding one day and I started falling backwards and I couldn't stop. One of the worst things is watching my body deteriorate. I couldn't find a diagnosis. I was real frustrated uh, for the whole thing for, for about 18 months there. We just went from one doctor to another and you know, they would tell you things like, it's just because you're getting older and I've known her almost 40 years and I knew better than that. At this point, I had lost so many abilities. I was getting slower and slower in my walk. I noticed for the first time there was a change in my bladder control, like having to go more. So when Ms. Wright came to us, she had all three cardinal features of normal pressure hydrocephalus. She had balance problems, she had difficulty controlling her bladder, and she was starting to have memory problems. I looked at it like this, finally somebody knows what I'm talking about, and I had enough faith in what they were saying to me that it's my only hope and I gotta go for it. Well, once we got in Dr. Mogokar's office and I talked to him and I knew right then that they were gonna take care of the problem. That was a big relief factor right there. These three symptoms are very common in the general population and even a combination of these symptoms is not unusual. But when you have these combination of three symptoms with big ventricles or excess CSF in the brain, that should raise your suspicion that this could be normal pressure hydrocephalus. When a person has hydrocephalus and fluid bills in the head, we can drain it with essentially a tube that goes from fluid spaces, in the ventricles in the brain, into the abdomen, the area around the intestines, which can absorb fluid quite easily. I have a shunt in my head and it has a little gauge here and they check it every time. The first time it was set at 2.15, and here it is right there. Yeah. There are a system of valves which have certain amount of resistance and open under only certain pressures, and those allow some fluid to be kept in and draining, in a sense, the overflow. And that's the right setting, 2.0. Patients with hydrocephalus should come to the Johns Hopkins Center for CSF Disorders for two main reasons, a comprehensive assessment and rigorous follow-up. Let's see a couple of more things on your balance. So step okay. down. Don't worry, I won't let you fall. Okay. Perfect. We don't just put a shunt in and say adios. We, we actually see them every six months initially and as long as they're doing well, once a year at least, to ensure that the shunt is doing well. I started rehab and I went three days a week from then on. I didn't think I could do it, but I did. These are my lat pull downs and that uh, resistance training, that's 18.5. And normally, again, I try to shoot for 15 when I do them, the reps. There was so much I had lost and by going through this physical therapy, in every aspect, it was getting me stronger and stronger and stronger. When you go through something like this, your whole attitude changes, and if it doesn't, something's wrong. <laughs> you learn to appreciate so much more. She's an energetic, full of life woman with a very positive attitude towards life, and that's helped her deal with all the things that she's faced. All right, every day. <laughs> and I just pop those up like that, and that's done. Dr. Mogakar, he's very caring, and I think he's guided me through this whole thing. And um, I, I just, I really like him a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I am too.